Hi, this is Geertjan. In this screencast, we're going to get started with JBoss EAP 6.2 in NetBeans IDE 801. The first thing I did was I went to the Favorites window, which you can find under the Window menu, the Favorites window, and I right-clicked and chose Add, add to Favorites, which lets me browse on disk to any folder I want and add it into NetBeans. So it's kind of convenient. I can see the whole JBoss installation directly inside NetBeans. Next, let's register the JBoss server. So I'm going to press Alt Shift L, Alt Shift L, which copies to the clipboard the full path to the JBoss installation. I right click on servers, I choose Add Server, I choose JBoss Application Server, I click Next, and I paste in here the full path to the JBoss installation. I click Next, NetBeans finds it's standalone. It finds the domain path to standalone, and that's it. I click Finish, and here is now JBoss added to my list of servers. I right click and I choose Start. I can open the output window as well. Ah, the port is already in use. Let me go and quickly fix that. I have some Oracle DB stuff running on that port, so I'm just going to stop that. So here's a service from Oracle that automatically starts up on my Oracle laptop. And here is another one. I'll stop this one as well. Now I'm going to open the output window and just clear the output window. And let's see, right click on the server and choose start. You can see that the JBoss application server is starting up. There you go. And I can see here an applications node. And let's see what's in here already. Right now there's nothing. So let's deploy an app to JBoss EAP 6.2. Java web app. Let's call it Hello JBoss EAP 6.2. Click Next. And I can choose that server that I registered. And I'll click Next, and say Finish. I could add some frameworks, but I won't. Make it a very simple example. And let's say Hello JBoss EAP 6.2. We will make sure to use the embedded browser, which is kind of convenient, because we don't have to switch to an external one. So now the application is starting up. And we should see it appear in the web applications node. So application starts up. Okay, here is the, well, we don't need the CSS styles window. We can see our message. And let's see, we don't see anything in here. Oh, that's interesting. But anyway, the application has started up. And we can see the result in the embedded browser. So that's it, a quick uh, getting started guide for anyone using JBoss EAP 6.2.